once again welcome back guys this is our register and login section so first we are going to register then we are going to login for that register and login now for locally I'm going to use SATA preference to save the data let me show you SATA preference SATA preferences and go to developer.android.com oops not this one okay this one Add preference preference name contacts mode provide or public if provide means from this third preference is accessible only within the app if it is a public means uh, this preference is accessible by the other apps if you are uh, on to only one side preference then you can go with this without naming the side preference file okay I will go with this Done. We are going to register. Yes, register button. Before that, we need a username and password to save. Before we are saying to set a preference, we need to check all the values there or not. If the value is there, not there, we need to display the error message. Just I'm going if username text dot is empty, then return return will stop the execution of this current block and exit from the execution of that button action else if was a text is empty then I can return then here we have go for else get sad preference and preference dot id dot put string use name value of the key we need to apply the changes to the sad preference Add it. Pull string. Password. Password. Tap, tap. Up. Once it's can it finished, we need really need to go to login screen because we have registered and we are going to login. For that, I just performing go to login action on click once it's get finished click perform click means programmatically clicking the go to login button and then it default this action will get triggered if it is no if it is empty we are going to display error message on the input layout so Error enabled to true and set set error okay. 
same for password. Return is a new source, last is Just take note. Okay. Hmm. If once get finished, successful of registration, you are going to post message. And the message. And the length of the toast message and short that's short um, same thing I'm going to copy here and paste it in our login fragment or login button If on successfully, if username and password is not empty, then what I'm going to do is okay, just trim it here. Forgot to trim that. name text equals to equals to shared friends dot text and the key we need to store the keys in the constant place then we can access easily so what I'm going to have keys public static string Password. Password. Then the register I'm going to. Something on top. Public class keys. Just a second. We need to build to that class. Take a part. I'll just build it. Ah, that's fine. Now we have. Key. Key store. If class keys, we already have the class key. Then click static class. Access from main active. Oops, my spelling was mistake. Sorry, guys. K A P U I. Keys dot. Then you put the class. Username. Dot password. The login also use by using this way you can't mistake with the spelling. Username 
and the default string if the key is not found means default string is written as double quotes and password text dot equals third dot get string and that key is key is the password and the default string if key value is not found is empty okay. if both are success then start activity get activity come on oops come on main activity plus oops okay what's wrong with yeah start activity intent to fragment activity and oops get activity The username and password is wrong with Post. Yes, we need a context. Get activity. Okay, cool. Here we good to go. Okay, there. Oops. Let me run. Show you. Maybe. Okay, next is Pyrex. If I click on login, please enter username and just click the username and the password. Okay, cool. Login username and password is wrong because we are not right registered and not having username and password itself. Then I'm going for register. Then Java uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And click on register. It's registration success. Then I'm, again, I'm and password I'm giving the wrong password then you can check username and password is wrong I will give an empty password the please enter password I will give correct password yes our login and registration is working perfectly if you are liking the video give me a thumbs up if you are really I enjoyed this video please subscribe and share this video thanks for watching guys let's meet in the next tutorial bye